Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to cover the Caesar cipher, which is one of the simplest and most popular encryption techniques in which one letter in the message is replaced by another letter, a fixed number down the line. As always, remember to subscribe, hit the notification icon, give it a like and leave a comment to support the channel. I'm going to run the script. Basically, it is a Python script. I'm going to pass two parameters. The first one, is whether I want to encrypt the message or decrypt the message, and then followed by the message I want to encrypt. I'm going to say simple hello world. Okay, I press enter and I got the message encrypted. So if I want to decrypt this message, I can copy the encrypted message, recall that command, and this time I'm going to say decrypt, and I'm going to pass the message. And that is going to give me the message unencrypted. Really simple. So let's get down to the algorithm. All right, so here we are in um, VS Code. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to write a comment here that says um, Caesar Cypher. Then I'm going to import sys. Uh, next, I'm going to write another comment that says checking for common line arguments. Okay, and next I'm going to exit out of the program. The next thing that I want to do, I want to capture the, the mode, whether the user want to encrypt or decrypt. So I'm going to say here, mode encryption or decryption. And uh, let's say sys. RV, and this is going to be the, the first argument. I want to create another variable here, which is going to capture the message. And I'm going to set this one to sys.rv, argument number two. And uh, next I want to create um, an alphabet in which I'm going to look up every single uh, character of the message. And so I need to include here another variable that is the key by which we are going to shift the index. So I'm going to say key equals to 13. Uh, I also want to create uh, an output text or a result text. Next, I'm going to say for letter in message. And um, I want to say now if letter in alphabet. We're going to do something here. We're going to replace that letter by another letter 13 characters down the line. Else, that's in the case that we don't have, we don't find the letter. And then in that case, I'm going to say result text equals to result text plus letter. Okay. And somewhere down here, we're just going to print result text. So that's that's the that's the outer shell of the script. Uh, next I'm going to get inside this if statement. So if we find the letter, I'm going to say letter index equals to alphabet 
find letter. So I'm going to grab the index of that letter as the first thing I'm going to do. So next, if mode is equal to encrypt. So if we are encrypting, then I'm going to shift that letter. I'm going to add 13 to the index of that letter. So I'm going to say, mode equals decrypt, then I'm going to subtract from the key. Result index equals to letter index minus key. So if result index greater or equals to length of the alphabet, then we are going to say result index equals to result index minus length alphabet. LF result index less than zero. Then we do result index equals result index plus length alphabet. Finally, we want to do result text equals to result text plus alphabet result index. All right. And so that should be it. Uh, let's go ahead and save it and run the script. If we want to make our uh, our script a little bit more cryptic and more secure, and that is the fact that we can omit the key from the script because it's easier once once you open the script, it's easier to figure out that we are using the number thirteen in order to find a substitute letter. So we can allow the user to pass that key as a as an argument when calling the script. So we are going to say sys. So I'm going to recall the, the command and I'm going to pass 20 as the encryption key. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to copy this, Ctrl C, and I'm going to decrypt it. 